Deep Wars by Antimatter Games Battles in the Watery Abyss The Fortune Hunters Whispers of the legendary lost realm beneath ice and snow has tempted many grizzled adventurer devious brigand and adventurous scientist among the kingdoms of the old world. Many of these seekers of golden treasures answered the call on dark and misty docks, unprepared for the dangers they would be asked to face. Only a few of the bravest or most foolhardy joined the expedition to the underground shadow sea, combining their skills and experimental dive equipment to make up a ragged, yet dangerous force. Fortune hunters come from many different countries, often hired as mercenaries with backgrounds as veterans of wars or scientific expeditions. Some bring their own equipment, specially designed for underwater exploration, or salvaged from previous treks through the underlands, while others are simply soldiers trained in the use of the new armored diving gear created by Dr. Wormwood in his dark and mysterious laboratory. The main expedition has been funded by wealthy nobles and shadowy forces at the highest levels of the kingdoms of the old world. A recent discovery of the deadly draconid creatures of the Underlands spreading across the southern continents of the New World has forced these kingdoms to put aside their petty squabbles and work together to recover the powerful ether technology artifacts sitting on the cold sea floor of the underground ocean. The teamwork of many of the most esteemed scientists of the age within Wormwood's lab has made this goal a possibility. How the salvaged treasures of the deep are shared amongst the jealous, backstabbing kings will be of concern later. The fortune hunters have a variety of different troop types, but they all share a need to wear heavy dive suits of thick oiled leather or bronze, pressurized so that they can survive under the crushing weight of hundreds of feet of water. Their helmets are designed to resist the water pressure, but still give some level of visibility through multiple viewing windows of solid crystal. The helmets restrict visibility, though, and the armored suits are clumsy and slow to turn, but they keep the divers alive in the deadly world at the bottom of the sea. Though their technology appears unsophisticated, a crude mixture of recovered ancient technology and rough modifications, it is still reliable and effective in combat. Their weapons are especially efficient killing tools, though relying too often on explosives that may cause collateral damage. Their primary weapons are spear guns that fire heavy steel spears and harpoons that punch through the armor of the opposing forces with relative ease. All of the weapons are fired using the same basic principles as gunpowder weapons, using an explosion to hurl a projectile or multiple projectiles out at high velocity. For these underwater weapons, the explosive propellant is a small bit of unstable crystal that detonates when hit with a firing hammer. The crystals are a finite resource and are only found in the underground shadow sea, making them valuable treasures to recover during any dive. The team of fortune hunters has its base on the shores of the sea in the underlands, repairing and upgrading their equipment between dive missions. When they are prepared, they board the submersible salvaged and modified by Dr. Wormwood for combat dives and exploratory missions down into the watery gloom. The craft has multiple bulkhead doors that can seal off different sections, so that if breached by an enemy the ship will not collapse or become flooded as long as the doors are closed quickly. The weapons of the fortune hunters can operate in air almost as well as in water, so they may be used to protect the submersible if boarded. Their heavy suits are slow in air, though, unless augmented by ether-powered systems. 
Upon reaching the sea floor, the team exits from a waterlock, a pressurized room on the bottom of the craft, and makes its way out to search for ancient treasures, carrying glowing lamps with crystal lights, well armed and armored. The fortune hunters present a powerful foe to any other forces vying to recover the treasure of the deep. Thanks, guys, for listening to today's tales. You can find our Indie Invasion podcast on all podcast platforms, including Podbean, Google, and iTunes. And please visit us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. And if you can, support us on Patreon slash Indie Invasion. And feel free to email us with any questions or comments at IndieInvasion at gmail.com. And remember, guys, don't forget to prepare yourself for the invasion. <laughs>